Hi everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today we will be looking at Prettier. Uh, what is Prettier and why we need that one. If you are in a front end development, you might be coming across Prettier ES claims. These are all code formatter. It makes your code prettier when you do write your code. Now this is more useful when I, uh, lots of teams are working on this one and everyone needs to have a standard set of codes, standard set of designs, like spacing, all the code formatting. For that one, in one organization, we can set a certain rules of the code format and everyone should follow that one. Now we can also validate this ones using the ES links and we can run this command as well as in CI CD pipelines. So anything that other developers are not following, it will gives an error on pipelines or when we do run on applications. So there are lots of editor supported on this one, VS Code, which was we will be using today and all other items. Now this works with all the JavaScript frameworks, React, Angular, and other frameworks, but we are working on Angular. So we'll see how the Angular fits on this one. So let's get started. Uh, I will be using a latest Angular version. So for that, uh, I am just installing uh, Angular latest CLI uh, in one of the log directory of my location. So I'm just using the latest version of Angular CLI. So we can check the ng version of this one. Uh, we can see uh, Angular 15.1.3 is installed. I will create a new project over here, something called ng new this is the angular cli command my first project so it will create an angular project for us and in, in this angular project we will use a we will set up prettier and eslint to uh, to validate all the rules that we will set up for a team now i'm using scss you can use any of the styling whatever it suits you and this will install all the dependencies for you. So just now we created a project. So we do a ls on this one, something called my first project is the one. So I'll cd on that one. So we can use a VS code or any other editor that we want uh, to open this project. So I'm using uh, VS code for this one, uh, but any other editor which works with uh, prettier and ESLint, you can use that one. So I'm just opening that project. So this is in a basic structure what Angular gives us. So over here you can see Angular 15 and all the latest version of Angular. Now we can use any of the terminals either of here or any other terminals on this one because I am using a terminal from here inside this project. Now first we need to install ESLint plugin for this one. To install the ESLint plugin you need to be on a project location, project.json location. So this is the project.json location of my folder. Now on this one we can just run a command ng add angular dash eslint dash semantics now this will add a eslint plugin for us and we can straightforward run our eslint thing, things and it will work for us so we'll just see we'll install this package got installed and if we check again the uh, uh, dependency now we can see our eslint builder and all those things dependencies have been installed now we can do an ng lint on this one. So if you are linting ng lint on this one, because I have not changed anything on the project, but these are all from the basic structure, so the linting it's fast. Since we have already installed uh, ES lint, now we need to install prettier for this one. To install the prettier, we have an npm command. So I need to use npm install prettier, that's just save that. This will install a prettier uh, package for me. So if we check again on the project.json file, we find a prettier extension now has been installed. Now, after installing these two, how do we combine the prettier to work with ESLint? We need a 
things to work a prettier as well as ESLens because these are the two versions, two different plugins. Now we need to tell uh, um, a compiler to use prettier link as a standard format and we need to use a ESLens to verify that one. For that, we, we need to create some of the files on here. Uh, in the root of our applications, root means where the package.json is there, we'll create one file called .prettierr.json file. Now on this one, we need, we can add mm, the rules that we want. And if you want to ignore some of the things in, 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 that prettier should not include, then we need a prettier.ignore file for that one. So in the prettier.json file, now we can set our rules. It's up to you, whichever rules you want to set. So I'm just copying one set of rules. I need a tab width of two, use tab and single quotation, that is true. Now this is the basic uh, uh, rules that I have set, but still I haven't set how ESLint will use this one. So to configure how the ESLint, uh, ESLint should work with this one. So there, I'm just copying the another command, let npm install prettier eslint, esconfig prettier eslint and save that. This command will, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll write all the commands in the description to use this one. This command will configure a prettier and es. We need to tell eslint.json to use a prettier plugin for nglint. So if we do, Mm, we need to add one of the extension over here to use prettier plugin recommended. Uh, now in this prettier command recommended inside the rule HTML, we don't need to set anything. So for the TS file, we have set this one. So now if we run this one, we can see there are errors on our application. Now we can either use one of the commands that is there, nglint that has fixed to fix all those things. If we run these things, now everything might be fixed. So if we run this, all lint file has been succeeded. And this was the basic structure how to set PTR and ingest lint in an application.